I'm Matt Levesque, Captain of Langley Thunder. This is WLA Weekly. Welcome to WLA Weekly. I'm your host Nick Bazran and we're at the Langley Event Center for Game 1 of the WLA Finals. We're going to talk to the Langley Thunders captain Matt Levesque and Damon Edwards. We're also going to recap the first round between the Burnaby Lakers and Victoria Shamrocks as well as the Coquitlam Adnex and the Langley Thunder telling you how both the Shamrocks and the Thunder got to the finals. And we're going to talk to you about some things to watch, that and much more. But first we talk to Langley's captain Matt Levesque. Matt, you're playing the Victoria Shamrocks in the WLA Final, the third time in the WLA Final, third consecutive year. Is it tough not to look past the Victoria Shamrocks for your ultimate goal, the Man Cup? It is tough, but uh, we have to take one game as it goes. Um, it's going to be a hard series, so if we start looking ahead, we're going to count ourselves out there. Like. And Victoria is one of the most offensively gifted teams in the league at the moment. They scored 51 goals in their series against the Burnaby Lakers. What's your plan on stopping them, especially Corey Small? Just play our defense. That's all our plan is. And finally, is travel going to have an effect on you guys? You guys are going to be going back and forth from Victoria in this series. It'll have a little bit of an effect, but I can see us coming all ready to fly every game. Thank you so much, Matt. Good luck in the series. Thanks. And in the Langley and Coquitlam series, the Thunder and Adnax would meet up for Game 2 as the Adnax Daryl Veltman would score 4, but his A's couldn't pull through as Langley was able to steal this one 8-6. The former Langley Thunder, Brett Hickey, would score 4 times in the third game of this series, but again Langley would squeak this one out thanks to this solid penalty killing which went 7-8 for eight in the 9-7 Thunder win. And with their playoff lives on the line, the Quitlam Adnax pushed the Thunder to the limit in Game 4 and would make it interesting in the third by making this one a three-goal game, but Langley's second-year player Shane Jackson would find his scoring touch, getting four goals and seven points, helping his Thunder eliminate the Adnax in this Game 4 11-9 victory. In the other series, the second game would be anyone's game as Burnaby had the lead heading into the third until Victoria struck back and would take the lead as Burnaby lost a close one 12-11. The Lakers' Dane Stevens and Robert Church would each get three goals as Shamrock's Jeff Shatler would record six points. Game three would take place in Victoria and the Shamrocks destroyed Burnaby in this one with Corey Small scoring three and recording five points as well as Brody Eastwood getting the hattie while Corey Conway had five points in the 17-3 Shamrocks victory. And in Game 4, at the Bill Copeland Arena in Burnaby, Victoria would complete the sweep as Small would once again score three times, but Burnaby's Jackson Decker would score twice in the final minutes to make it a three-goal game. But luckily, Matt Vink, Victoria's solid goaltender, would shut them down in the final minutes as his team took the game and the series in the 10-7 victory. With the top two teams in the league going at it in the WLA Finals, here are your things to watch. Road Trip. The Thunder will be doing a lot more traveling than they're used to now that they will be making trips to the island to face the Shamrocks. Fatigue and jet lag could play a strong role in this series which would give Victoria the upper hand as they are well adjusted to the travel and showed that by sweeping the Burnby Lakers in four games. Special Delivery. Victoria has to be disciplined and be careful about the penalties they take because the Thunder have the best power play in these playoffs, scoring 11 times on 19 opportunities. And it's going to be a tough one to get past the Langley penalty killers who also rank first after allowing just 9 goals on 32 attempts. Red Alert in the four games against the Burnaby Lakers, the Shamrocks managed to score 51 goals with Corey Small leading the way with 10. Langley, on the other hand, has continued their low scoring trends and are going to have even more trouble as they face Matt Vink. Victoria's tender has taken the net by storm. Once again, I'm here with our special guest, Tyler Lippingwell. And now, Tyler and myself will break down the entire first game of the WLA Finals. Tyler, in game one, the first period actually started off pretty slow. Not a whole lot of goals scored. You have Victoria, one of the highest scoring teams in the league, and Langley, a team that likes to start off early in the first. That didn't happen. Yeah, Victoria came out a little flat-footed. Uh, Langley came out with a 2-1 lead after the first period, 
it may have had something to do with the fact that Victoria showed up at 7 o'clock when they should have been in their gear ready to go. They came out a little flat-footed. Yes, and Langley was on the floor, I believe it was 5.30, and usually players of both teams are out at 6.45 for their warm-up. But in the second period, things started to break out a bit. There was a couple more goals scored, including a big one late in the period. Yeah, we saw five goals in the second period, back and forth period there. Uh, saw a late goal by Dane Doby, big fist pump, got his team going. It was a crucial goal, goal to go up 5-3 in the game. And I interviewed in between the second and third period, Damon Edwards, the man who assisted Dane Doby on that goal, couldn't stress how important that was momentum-wise. And in that third period, things kind of carried over for the Langley Thunder. Yeah, in the third period, Mark Matthews definitely took over. He scored two goals to complete the hat-trick, and they were both assisted. All three of his goals actually were assisted by Billings, who had five points in this game. Big, big rush by the Langley Thunder. But, you know, we saw a late goal by Victoria, which kind of scared the crowd a little with 10 seconds to go. But it was just a little too little, too late. That's exactly it. Too little, too late for the Victoria Shamrocks as the Langley Thunder took it 7-6. And Brody McDonald, he was pretty solid in this one, beating out Matt Vink on, his, on the other side, his opposing goaltender. He stopped 48 out of 54 shots for the Langley Thunder in the win. And now Game 2 will be in Victoria this weekend. And... We should expect more of the same, except I would think a little more scoring. You know, a little, little more scoring, a little more aggressive. I want to see them, both teams come out fast, a little quick, a little more aggression. Exactly. And of course, with the two goaltenders that are great, that could be another reason why for the low scoring games. But still, with all the talent they have, we'll have to see what happens in the rest of the series. Thanks for watching this edition of WLA Weekly. For all your playoff dates and times, head on over to theboxrocks.com. And for all your local sports coverage, keep it locked to vsbn.ca. Tyler, we want to say thank you for joining us on this edition of WLA Weekly. Thank you very much for having me, Nick. And thank you for watching. I'm Nick Bazran.